In this section, we will be looking at John Dee's Bonorum system. The Bonorum, or Base 7 system, is usually considered a separate system than that of John Dee's later and much more complex Enochian works, although it does provide an easier method of understanding the system of encryption that Dee used throughout. The Bonorum system is used to derive 49 different names from a series of seven squares with 49 letters each. We begin with the first square, central in this array, which has 49 letters B. Each letter B is numbered according to the name that it begins. The next letter follows in the second square, then in the third, then in the fourth, fifth, sixth, and the final letter is in the seventh square. Such that, beginning with the letter B in the first cell of the first square, we follow to the letter that is numbered in the second square according to the number 1, and thus follows in the third square and the letter according to the number 1, and so forth until we have the first name of seven letters. Likewise, beginning with B2, we follow to the letter in the second square numbered 2, and so forth, until we have assembled the second name. And we follow this method 49 times until we have assembled 49 names of 7 letters each. Note that the letters in all the squares besides the letter B in square 1 are shuffled such that none appear in the same order. This is the first layer of encryption for the Bonorum system, and yields 49 names of the so-called Bonorum princes, which we here see labeled as around a circle, yielding the second layer of encryption of the Bonorum system based on the seven planets, given in the order Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn, Moon, then recombined and shuffled such that each of the seven planets has one of the seven planets as an attribute within itself, with its own planetary attribute as ruler over the others, so although preserving the same order of the planets throughout. And this structure is then assigned according to the 49 names derived from D's system of the Benora, to yield the 49 so-called princes of the Benora, which we can see given here as according to each attribute and not as according to each planet that governs the seven attributes. Following a pattern such that, for example, Venus of Venus is given as the king, Venus of the sun, the following planet would be given as the prince, and Venus of the other planets as an attribute alone is given as a governor. And this is the second layer of encryption of the Benorum of John D. And following from this we find the 42 Benorum ministers for each of the seven planets that are derived by taking six letters from each of the 49 names of the princes of the Benorum and shuffling them such that seven tables can be formed taken from the second letter of each of the names of the princes, then from the third letter of each of the names of the princes, then from the fourth letter of each of the names of the princes, and so forth, given as six rows of seven letters each, thus forming seven columns, for a total of 42 letters for each of the seven planetary tables. These letters are then shuffled and recombined to form the names of 42 ministers for each of the seven planetary tables that we can see here are assigned a day of the week for the ruling planet, a planetary ruler each for one of the attributes of the planets, 
and a metal from the seven primary elements given by alchemy. Also note that each of these attributes is shuffled, constituting the third level or layer of encryption of John Dee's Benorum system, yielding first from seven squares, seven lettered names of the 49 princes, and second by reshuffling the letters from the names of these princes, all but the original square of the Bonorum, which is only the letter B, to derive the 42 ministers of the Bonorum system, which itself can be shaped and reformed and mapped onto a three-dimensional cube, each side of which is comprised of one of the sides of the unfolded cross of the Bonorum thus depicting the entire system of the seven squares of 49 letters each graphed onto the exterior surface of a cube in such a manner that we can begin to see the way in which John D. himself most likely derived the Benorum system as well as the later Enochian system which is similarly able to be graphed onto a cube However, in order to understand the way John D. derived these systems through scrying, or looking through his crystal ball, we have to think not outside the box, as the popular modern saying goes, but think as John D. himself must have thought, how to derive these systems from looking within.